And tonight, some highlights from the case against Puget Sound Energy's liquefied natural gas facility. At stake, their air pollution permit issued by the Puget Sound Clean Air Agency. Challenging the permit at the Pollution Control Hearings Board is Jan Hasselman of Earth Justice. The evidence in this hearing will show that the EIS failed to achieve the goal of full, reasonable, accurate disclosure. We are asking you to find that the EIS falls short of CEPA's requirements and send it back to the agency for another try. Mr. Hasselman also called foul on the project's claim to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And to use our cigarette analogy, the evidence is going to show that this project actually means going from 20 cigarettes a day to 30 cigarettes a day while calling it an improvement. He then challenged PSC's assertion that fracked gas from Canada is somehow cleaner than that from the U.S. Is there some special magic that exists only in British Columbia that accidents or unexpected or unreported losses don't happen? Of course there's not. Summing up the state of climate science, Mr. Hasselman emphasized what is at stake. Now the science is undisputed. If the nation and the world does not sharply decarbonize in the next few decades, the consequences will be catastrophic. On the other side was Jennifer Dold, representing the Puget Sound Clean Air Agency, whose purported mission is to protect the future. Dubiously, she defended the agency's flawed findings by claiming that Puget Sound Energy, who is building the LNG facility, agrees with them. And where PSE's expert witnesses confirm the thoroughness, the appropriateness, and the reasonableness of the agency's CEPA review, with the science clearly not on her side, Ms. Dold went on to say that the challenge to the air pollution permit was based solely on emotion. Appellants are asking you to decide this case on emotion. She also asserted that the Pollution Control Hearings Board should just defer to the Clean Air Agency's findings. This board, when providing the deference the law requires you give to the agency, the Pollution Control Hearings Board is expected to reach a decision on this case in the next three months. In the meantime, Puget Sound Energy is expected to start operating the facility in May, even though their only customer, Tote Maritime, won't be ready to accept the fuel until the end of 2022. For TNN, I'm Nakane Monique. Have a good night.